my mother made eye contact with me. Uh, and uh, <laughs> so thank you for that. The trick, the trick when you speak in front of your parents is always never look their way. Always look I, I couldn't, I couldn't avoid. <laughs> Uh, but um, a very intriguing question that you have actually raised um, in your speech was vis-a-vis center-state relations. And I'm uh, very curious to sort of understand the center-state relationship vis-a-vis -vis, vis finances and public finances, because here's the thing. Uh, state development also co is a high revenue contributor to the uh, s sort of state exchequer of India and uh, not necessarily GDP, and that obviously looks at India's development. And I'm very curious to understand if there is sort of state policy that you would, you would sort of take on to develop center-state relationships, or you think that it is something that the center should take on and, and involve as a part of their political agenda. Well, thank you, great question. Uh, if I understood it correctly, is it audible? If I understood it correctly, I think, um, you know, when uh, Prime Minister Modi, uh, you know, before 2014, as we all know, he was a successful chief minister of uh, three consecutive terms from Gujarat. A lot of times in digital world, what happens is uh, your past really catches up with you. So what happens is uh, when Prime Minister Modi, when he talks about something vis-a-vis -a, -vis a state or an institution, Typically, my team and a lot of other teams also dig up what he had said when he was the chief minister. So, for instance, today you see the governors interfering in a big way, especially in non-BJP states. The governors literally have become an impediment to growth. That's what they've become, the hurdles. You send a bill from a democratically elected assembly in the state, the governor gets to sit on it forever without any valid reason or no rhyme, no reason. Prime Minister Modi, when he was the chief minister, said, Sarkaria commission ke sifaris amal karo. Or active politician ko kabhi politics mein mat gisito. But what happens in Telangana? The BJP president of Tamil Nadu till today becomes the governor of Telangana next day. What happens as a result? Politics will also spread to Raj Bhavan. Raj Bhavan will start working as an extension. And when this happens, the acrimony that typically tends to you know, come in is but unavoidable. Having said that, there are occasions, you know, when we have to raise above petty political considerations and basically stand up, uh, you know, with the union government and, you know, give them the much needed support, etc. For example, what happened yesterday in Manipur was horrible, horrific. And anybody who's ha who has a heart or, a, you know, you know who, who really feels as a human was put to shame and we had to hang our heads in shame. But these are occasions when you would want to shed any ambivalence and stand with government of India. Say, also, there are sometimes, you know, there are tensions on the border. You would want to stand with them and say, okay, we as Indians, India comes first. Of course, we ought to do that. There are earthquakes, natural disasters. So we all have to raise above petty political considerations and work with them. But the same spirit also has to be exhibited by government of India. See, the fundamental thing we all need to understand is, hai Bharat hai kya? Athais Raj agar hai, to khul mila ke Bharat hai. Aisa nahi hai ki Modi sahab ke liye koi aur Raj hai. He is administering the same country that we are all living in. So the same state that is being administered by Sri KCR as the Chief Minister, Modi ji is also the Prime Minister of that. So the fact is, the stronger the states are, the stronger the country is, the more you empower them, the more you decentralize, the more better it is. But also it is a fact that, you know, each person, decentralize Shayad, it's a role problem and not uh, the person problem. But if, we, if India has to grow, if India really has to move up and, you know, achieve that first world ambition that has been uh, laid out so explicitly by every prime minister, I think uh, we have no choice but to confine our elections to a certain window. Ek saal politics karo, char saal economics pe dhyan do, tab jake kuch kaam hoga, varna nahi hoga. Okay, the next question. Thank you, Ravikant Reddy, sir. This is Dr. Ramesh Karneganti. Sir, what an young, dynamic, and then very impactful minister you have been. I have been observing it, sir, for the last decade. Uh, the state of Telangana people are so lucky to have you as a brand ambassador. Not Let the question be Yes, I'm coming. Yeah, I'm, uh, sir, I have to tell you this adjective because I have been waiting for this to tell you, sir. Maybe I chose this occasion. Sir, then we got some ticket to villain, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. I'm an academic, sir. I'm an academic. <laughs> 
So I run a think tank on Center for Human Security Studies. Ravikan Zadi, sir, you know it. Telangana, I have been watching for the last few years. Freedom from want, freedom from fear, freedom to live with dignity are the cornerstones of human security, which is exactly evident in the state of Telangana. This I have been observing, sir, without being any exaggerative in my observation. Thank you, Ramesh Garu. Thank you so much. Very kind of you to say that. Like I said, we have been a very inclusive government. Uh, one of the things, I have to share this uh, anecdotal experience of mine with you. As soon as the state was formed, like I said, there were a lot of apprehensions. So I was uh, invited to an event at the film industry, you know, producers council. So when I was going there, I asked uh, the chief minister, I said, sir, uh, what should I be saying to allay any fears, allay any apprehensions that they might have, what should I say? He simply said one thing, he said, ask these guys to stop thinking about being a Telugu film industry. Ask them, you know, whether they have it in, in them to become a South Asian, you know, hub for South Asia, to make Hyderabad a hub for South Asia. Yeah. So that was his perspective all along. So he always told me and told all of us, uh, all of my colleagues as well, he said, once the state becomes a reality, then people are going to ask you for development. People are going to ask you to fulfill all the promises you've made on water, on funds, on employment, on everything else that you've put out in your manifesto. So he said, focus on that. Don't focus on anything that divides us, but focus on everything that unites us. And that's exactly what we have done. And thank you for your kind words. So the food, the yeah. health, okay. the Okay, Ramesh, water. I think there were a lot of people waiting. Okay. Okay. So before the mic goes to that lady, there's a question online. Someone can, uh, please, yeah. There's a question uh, coming from Delhi, sir, from Business Line, Mr. Sribats. His question is, as a young state, how do you plan to ensure that you get a fair share of central tax